Hello guys, so today in addition to the analytics page, what I have done is I have added a repeating group, right? I'm just going to walk you through what I've done very quickly. And I've, I've added a repeating group and I've added a graph to the page. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at page views and I have um, basically I've added different page views uh, analytics using the repeating group. So this is a repeating group. I'm searching for data and the uh, within that I have a group within here and that group is drawing from the you know preparing groups analytics data and what is reflecting is the page views right so what I want to do is I just want to flip this here I want this to be the uh, analytics date percentage you know not percentage here and I want this to be the um, the page views themselves so it's just going to have percentage beside it yeah that's good so um next thing i want to do is i want to just have like a heading on top so i have um, i've just copied and pasted that group and i'm going to make this first and for here i am going to call this i'll just clear this i'm going to call this um, um creation date so then I'm going to call this um, the page view. So, page. so just to create like a bit of heading on top, and I'm going to make this 700, and this is 700 as well. And this is going to be 300 as well. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the first item, select the first parent, and then I am going to give this a uh, margin underneath of just say 20 pixels. Right. And the last thing is I'm going to say this group is not visible on page load. It's not visible on page load, collapse right within, and it's only going to be visible. It's only going to be visible when this current sales index is one. That's when this element is going to be visible. All right. So that's just how I create a heading for my repeating group. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that this does not go beyond 960. 960 pixels. Right, right here. So that's on the layout structure. Max width 960. Okay. Um, then it's going to be set to align. I think it, I believe it already is. Same thing here. I'm going to make sure that this is um, center aligned as well. And this is 960. Um, all right, so when this is refreshed, you can see that it's not looking nice at all. So what I'm going to do is that rather than say this is collapsed, I'm going to just say do not collapse this. Um, so do not collapse it when hidden, so that it just maintains the same space. Secondly, I want to ensure that this um, the date is formatted. I don't like the way it's looking. I don't like that date structure at all. I'm just, going to, I'm just going to format it to this May 4, 2023. So when I refresh this, right, it should um, it should look nicer. Yeah, there we go. So we have it. It's looking nice. You have the date here. You have the page views, and um, yeah, but something still is not right. So I'm just going to look at it again. Okay, so the issue is within this group data, uh, the data source is not is not this. It's supposed to be current sales data, right? Because the repeating group is meant to be reflecting the data, different data sources. That's why everything was the same. So once I refresh now, I should see different you know, data sources coming alive. Yeah, there we have it. You have something 325. 
And then the bar chart, just to quickly go through it, it's basically, you know, um, the data source is search for data. The current point is this value expression on the left, which is the page views. Uh, the uh, label is the date, which is the um, analytics date. I don't want to use the creation date because, of course, I'm creating everything at the same time. So I, I use the analytics date so that I can modify it. That's why you're able to see the, you know, views part of the date. Now, what I'm going to do now is now create a button for exporting this data, this page views data. This is one, two, three, four, five, six data points. I want to export them on a CSV file. So in order for me to do that, I would need to get a button and I will paste that button here. And I'm just going to call that button export in a page views. Well, let's just say export export analytics, right, um, or export analytics, I'm just going to put that center align, make this 250, with a bit of styling, 50, center align it, then I am going to go into my plugins, and I'm going to download a plugin called um, CSV download, Sorry, CSV Creator. Um, here you have it. So it's by Ellie, really good guy. Um, so you can just install that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into. Um, I'm just going <laughs> to. Sorry about this. I'm just going to get this CSV Creator. I'm going to paste it anywhere. You can just paste it anywhere in your other group, leave it there. And uh, you can just then do this workflow that when this workflow is created, you know, just type CSV. And you can just look for download data as CSV. There you have it. So name of the data is of course data type. Then here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you know, use this repeating group as your data source. So this repeating root data page views, the data source. So I'm going to go back to the workflows. I'm just going to put repeating group data page views. It's not data, is it? Correct. So then, you know, data formatting is Excel friendly. That's OK. And So then you now have um, all right. So I uh, this is the wrong workflow. So you have to delete this. Sorry about that. So you're just gonna type create a dynamic CSV file. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Then for the columns, the first column you're just gonna call this repeating group data. Page views, uh, list of data, um, each items, page views. So you can call this um, page view percentage. Then you can call this page view bit. And this would just be the same thing, but here instead of you having page views, I'm going to call this each item is analytics. Uh, date. That's all. And you know, once you have that, you can go ahead to test it. You can see I've just clicked it, and you know it's downloaded. And if I open this, it's going to. That's my page view. So that's basically how you do analytics on export with the CSV. Thank you, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. So that's the repeating group, the bar chart, and exporting via CSV with bubble.io.